Assalamualaikum, my name is Ani Sufia binti Wawak Yusuf. Metric number 280375 will present the service design. Service design is a process where designers create sustainable solutions and optimal experience for both customers in unique contexts and any service provides involved. Designers break service into section and adapt fine tunes solutions to suit all users' needs in context based on actors, location and other factors. Users don't access brands in a vacuum but within complex change of interactions. For example, we live in a world full of design choices that few of us even really appreciate. Consider the last time you went to the airport and flew in an aeroplane. You might have even checked in online and then arrived at the airport with your boarding pass at hand. Then you might have tapped tap in a kiosk to see about an upgrade and arrange to check your bag. And then you pass through the check-in and took a look at your tickets to see where you'll be sitting. When you finally board, board the plane, you have you had already passed through the outcome of dozens of tiny dessert decision and that if it was not even the least of it. Consider the way the flight attendants greets you, the way your boarding was managed and the scripts they are read over the PA to greet you. What is the meaning of a service? Traditional economics draws a clear distinction between goods and service. Goods are tangible and consumable such as pants, sunglasses or shoes. Service are instantaneous exchange that are intangible and do not result in ownership such as medical treatment, the postal service or public transportation. Today, there is no longer a clear distinction between goods and service. A continuum of goods service exists with a plethora of combined products and service in the middle. For example, a song and MP3 file is a product that can be accessed via a service like Spotify or Apple Music. To the user, the difference between the product and the service, only the song file versus streaming the song can be close to identical while behind the scene, they are quite different. As service grow in sophistication, so does the need to support them. Complex user experience often break due to an internal organizational shortcoming like a weak link in the ecosystem. For example, when was the last time you called a support hotline and give your personal information only to be transferred to another agent asking you to repeat the exact information you had already provided? This pain points things from an internal process flow the, that was produced by a lack of process design. Service design is concerned with the design of services and making them better suit the needs of the service users and customers. It examines all activities, infrastructure, communication, people and material components involved in the service to improve both quality of service and interactions between the provider of the service and its customers. The objective of service design is to formulate both front office and back office strategies that meet the customer's needs in the most relevant way whilst remaining economic or sustainable for the service provider. Ideal services are considered to be user-friendly and competitive within their market. Many different disciplines comprise service design. The most common are Intography, Information, and management science, interaction design, and process design. Service design is used both to create new services and to improve the performance of existing services. As Matt Biel from the Carnegie School of Design says, design is to about making things good and then better, and then right and fantastic for the people who use and encounter them. A brief history of service design. In 1982, the terms service designs were coined by Lynn Stotek. They considered service design to be a responsibility of marketing and management. It was proposed that a business should develop a service blueprint which details the processes within the, a company and how each process interacts with other processes. While this blueprint was initially only used for service design, but it has become a tool for managing operational efficiency as well. 
1991, Prof. Dr. Michael Erof of Call International School of Design (KISD) proposed that service design be considered a design discipline. He would go on to form an international conglomerate of universities that provide service design education and a network for academics and professionals involved in the disciplines. This network then proposed some structure for the discipline. Service design is an emerging discipline and an existing, existing body of language which can dramatically improve the productivity and quality of service. Service design provides a systematic and creative approach to firstly meeting service organizations need to be competitive. Uh, second, meeting customers raising expectations of choice and quality. That's making use of the technological revolutions that multiplies the possibilities for creating, delivering and consuming service. Fourth, answering the pressing environmental, social and economic challenges to sustainability. Uh, then, fostering innovative social models and behavior. Lastly, sharing knowledge and link learning. They also provide the format for the service designer's responsibilities. The service designer can visualize, express and choreograph what other people can see. And envisage solutions that do not yet exist. Uh, the service designer also can observe and interpret needs and behaviors the, and transform them into possible service futures. Uh, uh, they also can express and evaluate in the language of experience the quality of design. As well as setting out expectations for the way service design would perform, service design aims to create services that are useful, usable, desirable, efficient, and effective. Service design is a human-centered approach that focuses on customer experience and the quality of service encounter as the key value for success. Service design is a holistic approach which considers in an integrated way strategy, uh, system, app process, and touchpoint design decisions. Service design is a systematic and interactive process that integrates user-oriented, based, team-based, interdisciplinary approach and methods in ever learning cycles. While these de definitions have evolved a little over the years, they remain the core ethos of service design and what service designers should do in their work. Service design fits neatly into all industries, including those managed by the ITIL process. Service design methodology. Mariel proposed in 2006 that service design methodologies should operate in three directions. Firstly, the actor in the service must be identified and defined concerning the service. This can be done on, done using ana, analytical tools. Second, the service scenarios should be defined. Then user cases should be developed and sequenced to reflect the interactions with the actors. Third, the sec service should be then represent using diagrams and written elements as required to show all the physical components, actors, interaction, and sequence. The tools for analysis can involve social studies, ethnographic studies, anthropology, and extras. These areas offer an incredible number of tools and care should be taken to select the right tool for the service design project. Design tools are used to create the blueprint of the service and the nature and characteristics of the interactions that fall within it. These tools include but are not limited to the development of service scenarios and use cases. These tools are similar to those employed in software design and UX designers should have little trouble adapting to them. It is worth not noting that in service design, these tools tend to be broader in scope and accommodate management techniques such as Kaizen, Just-in-Time, JIT, Total Quality Management, TSQM, and extras. Care should be taken when selecting management techniques as in many service systems, customers' interactions are too loosely defined to be focused into the narrow path of quality management, which was originally designed for manufacturing. 
blueprint can be any useful form in a diagram which elicits the service scope. Storyboard storyboards are often the pre preferred tool, but there is no requirement for this, and designers should choose the tool which suits them and the project best. In conclusion, service design is the activity of planning and organizing people, infrastructure, communication and material components of the service to improve its quality and the interaction between the service providers and its customers. Service design is very bit as important as product design and US designers will find that as web products evolve to become web service. They are more and more involved in service design. The good news is that the core skills of UX design are similar when it comes to service design. They are just altered somewhat in scope. That's all for me. Thank you.